The year's dramatic economic changes are enough to rattle even the most prepared job seekers. But what about those who have had not had the time to seek new employment for, say, the last 25 years or so? Well, Fox 40's Sarah Blazonis found out the ability to adapt to changing times is key, and the government wants to help with the transition. It wasn't necessarily about finding a job for many of the thousands that came to Broome Tioga Workforce's Career Expo. Robert Spatcher worked in manufacturing and development at Universal Instruments for 25 years. Like many in the manufacturing field, he's having trouble finding work and is willing to learn new skills to make himself more marketable. Thinking about trying to enhance myself, like uh, try some different computer graphics uh, systems, learn some different systems, um, or maybe even just go something completely different. The State Department of Labor says it's important for job seekers to know about options like certification or back to school programs that can help them learn new skills if their search isn't turning up results. We have to think these days of, of our times of unemployment, not just as a wait and see till you get your next job, but as a time to use it to get additional training. State and federal governments are taking steps to make it easier for people to get the training they need to find a new career. For instance, Governor Patterson enacted a new initiative giving people 13 extra weeks of unemployment benefits. 1,100 people in the Southern Shore whose unemployment was about to expire will benefit from that extra time. Smith says those weeks can make a world of difference for the unemployed. Many of these training programs, people think that, oh, they're going to take a long time. Some of these certificate programs could take four weeks, six weeks, and you get yourself actually certified. The Southern Tier is also getting more than $4 million in stimulus money for worker retraining programs. In the town of Dickinson, Sarah Blazonis, Fox 40 News, first at 10.